And here is the finished product. Here is the finished ruched dress. There is ruching down the front and down the side. So overall, I don't like it. I mean, it's okay. Um, I don't know if I'll actually wear it. It doesn't fit properly. It's really baggy underneath the arms and just on my top portion. I just wish the fit would have been better. Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Delaya, and as you could tell by that last clip, I really didn't like that ruched dress. So this week, I am trying a little something different. I came across this photo of Lizzo on her birthday. She's wearing an all white ruched dress, and I, like many of you, loved it. And once I saw it, I instantly thought like, hey, I can possibly turn my ruched dress into that. So let's try it out. First things first, I had to assess how the dress fit. I know it was too big for me when it had sleeves on. So I just needed to figure out where it was an appropriate spot to cut and how tighter I needed to make it. The strapless dress will start here. So I'm just going to cut this straight across and I'm going to cut the sides off and just taper those in because I think that will just be the easiest way to get this done. Just redo that ruching and then I think we can call that a day. I'll probably like come in at the waist and go out like that so it'll have more curvature. And yeah, I think that's what we're going to do with this. It is just a weird shape. Weird shapes so like this should just be like <laughs> So here I am cutting across the t-shirt. I folded it in half to try and make sure that it'll be symmetrical on both sides. After doing that, I turned it inside out and on the back, I cut down an inch just so the back would be a little lower than the front. And then I cut off the sides, the ruching on the sides, all that elastic so I can redo that. Next, I measured where my waist and my hips would be on this dress. I just took the measuring tape and put it on my body and did those same markings on the dress. After that, I took in two inches from both sides. I will say if you do this or if you have something to alter that is similar, please measure first. I did not measure first and I will regret it later. So please do that first. To get a less boxier shape, I came in at the waist, so about half an inch, three quarters of an inch, I made that curve adjustment. On the hem, I came in and also at the top of the dress, that way those areas would have a tighter fit and the dress wouldn't be a huge rectangle. After that, I cut the excess off. Normally I don't do this, but I added the seam allowance while cutting. Normally I have it marked already, but this was really on the fly and just uh, true DIY, so I added it as I was cutting. And I am measuring the waist here, and this is where I realized that I have probably messed up in this dress. Now I'm measuring how long the elastic will have to be to hit a certain point. I am trying to get the ruching to be even on the sides as it is in the middle. I think when I first did this, I didn't have the math correct to have equal ruching on the sides in the center, and that could possibly be why everything was like all wonky and whatnot. Now for the ruching. If you want the detailed tutorial, you can check out this original video, the long sleeve ruched dress. I will link it in the description box below. But for a quick summary, basically you want to match the start point of the garment and the elastic, the halfway marks of the garment and the elastic, the end points of the garment and the elastic, and the quarter mark and the three quarter mark. Once you have those, you'll basically stretch the elastic so it will become the same length as each section and you'll put a pin in it and you'll just keep doing that until you feel that you have enough pins to secure your elastic. Once you're ready to sew, you'll put the garment and elastic in the machine. You'll start off with a single needle stitch, about one or two stitches, back stitch, forward stitch. Change that to a zigzag and you will stretch and stitch at the same time. As the machine goes, you're stretching each section so the elastic is the same length as that section of the garment and you'll just keep going through and keep going through. To finish, you'll switch your stitch back to a single needle stitch. You'll do the back stitch, forward stitch, and snip and you're done. Okay, so this is another do as I say, not as I do moment. For the top of the strapless dress, there's going to be elastic going through. You're going to create a tunnel. Measure the elastic that you're going to use. I'm using a one inch elastic. 
here I am turning under my tunnel one inch and that is not what you're supposed to do because you do not have room for a seam. So you're going to add a quarter inch to whatever you're going to turn under to give yourself some seam allowance. So following that logic, my turn under should have been one and a quarter inches. Once you have that good and ready to go, you're going to do a zigzag stitch to close that tunnel. You're going to leave about an inch or two inches open so you can fit the elastic through. And this was the second moment I realized that this was not going to fit me. To determine how long your elastic needs to be, you'll want to measure where you want the elastic to fall on your body. And from that measurement, you'll take off an inch or an inch and a half, but then you'll add an inch for seam allowance. After that, you'll feed the elastic through the open hole that you left, and then you will sew the ends together, overlapping them half an inch each, and just zigzag repetitively over the ends of the elastic. And once that's done and you've relaxed your elastic inside the tunnel, you can close that hole that you left, just do that same zigzag stitch you did around the whole thing, and you're good to go. Now the reveal. Yes, okay, come through, Delaya. I'm just kidding. I do like the dress, the dress came out nice. It is definitely better than the long sleeve ruse dress that it was before, so I'm happy about that. Um, I will say the Quarantine 15 is sitting proudly in this dress. It is on display. This dress is entirely too small for me, and that is okay. It's not okay, I'm like, I'm not gonna continue wearing it because it's too small. But yeah, I definitely took in too much on the side seams, and that is just where everything went wrong. When I put this dress on, I popped some stitches at the top. So, I mean, it's just not going to work for me. I'm considering fixing it and I might give it to someone or I'll even make a shop on my website and sell it there. Maybe that's what I'll do for my makes that don't come out well. But either way, I like the dress. I like how it came out. It is giving me Lizzo vibes. Lizzo's dress has more ruching. So if I were to do this again, I would probably emphasize the ruching. But other than that, the center front is doing some weird V thing at the hem, so I would fix that also. But other than that, we're good. I like it. It's a nice summer dress, so maybe I'll do it again for myself that will actually fit, or maybe I'll do a variation of it. Please sound off. Let me know what you think of the dress in the comment section. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Does it give you Lizzo vibes? Does it not? Let me know. If you like this tutorial and you like what I did here, make sure you check out the original long sleeve ruche dress tutorial. You'll get more out of that one. Also subscribe if you like sewing or fashion design videos. Hit the notification bell so you know when the next one drops. Until next time guys, stay safe and keep designing your best life. Bye!